What is going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another brand new episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 24. If you have Dover, scroll down at that level. And this one, we are losing 3-1 to one to the Edmonton Oilers here in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. But look, we're almost all the way to the tippity-tippity-top of the top line here for the Dallas Stars. We are not going to be sticking around in Dallas should we lose. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Oh no, I meant to hit the start button to jump into the game. Oh crap, I accidentally said sim period. Oh, it's two to nothing for the Oilers. Seriously, folks, I swear to God, I did not mean to do that. We have two challenges from the media, all saying win the series here at American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas for game five of the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And that was a big flub. We got that one, took it away. Here we go, baby. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Take that shot. Nice stop by, I'm assuming, Stuart Skinner. Back up in front, back to the point. Miro, right in front to DMAC. Big save by Skinner. Oh, no, I meant to bank that one. I cannot believe I did that. Oh, did I just lose this series for us? We were down one to nothing at the halfway point of this game, and I accidentally hit A instead of start, so it just simulated the period. God, it's like one of the only times I wish there were more prompts. Get your control of your stick, man. And we got a delayed penalty coming up. Zach Hyman, beloved children's author, bringing that one deep, and we are shorthanded just like that. D to the measle. What did I interfere on who? What did I do? So the boys were able to kill that one off. All right, the penalty, the phantom penalty that I don't know where it came from. So here we go. We're entering the zone. Rope A hints. Walks in. That was loose. Oh, it's in, baby. <laughs> All right, my dude. Rope A hints. Puts it home. It's a one goal game, and that did not take long. I got to say. That was nice. It was nice. It was a trickler. It was a bit of a trickler. Right, let's see what happened. Took the shot. Oh, it just barely snuck its way through. Oh, that was kind of a nifty little uh, uh, replay animation it was about to show. I actually wouldn't have minded to stay back and maybe watch that. Maybe watch that thing. But whatever. Anyway, so we are at home. DMAC did not get a point on that goal. It does not even matter. Get out of the way, Nuge. <gasps> oh, there's Rope again. No, nope. back up. Oh, what a hit. Rope holds the line. I'm getting tied up in front of the net. And Hyman's going to get it to Matias Ackholm, bane of my existence. I'm super duper going to fight him next year. I don't care. <laughs> or even later in this series, potentially. <laughs> Otter, what are you doing? And Haskinen threw that one away. Was not meant to be. And Robertson, I think he was trying to hit me, but oh, Rope Hints gets there quick. Hints. Oh, he's get. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just running into everyone. Oh, Zach Hyman gets laid down. Okay, okay. So the heat's on. This is an exciting one. Ever since DMAC jumped into the playoffs, it's like we are just like on another level right now. And Skinzy with the save, he's going to cover it up. We're over five minutes into the period already. We're halfway there, folks. Halfway there. Come on, Rope. Can't do it. Brett Kulak bringing that one down. Derek Ryan gets nailed from behind. And here's Drake Kajula, one-timer off the leg of Miro Haskinen. Now Derek Ryan trying to get that one around behind the net. I'm so damn slow. It is redonkulous. All right, Robertson, get that thing up to me. Come on, come on, get around Kulak and stopping up. No, he's going to very easily take that puck off me. Let's poke it away from him. Let's poke it away from him. We got it back, and then we lost it, and then we got it back, and we're probably going to lose it again anyway. All right, here we go, right in front, and Skinner's not going to cover that one up. That is kind of surprising. I accidentally hit the line change button. I seem to accidentally be hitting a lot of goddamn buttons right now. Great Kajula with a shot. Nice stop by Otter. We're going to stay back at our point guy. Kajula again. We got another delayed penalty coming. Man, we're gifting this. Come on, Robertson. We're like gifting this series to the Oilers right now. We have to kill this penalty. Connor McDavid with a backhander, and Otter's going to cover that one up. Seven to go. We're getting way too close down to the wire. Too close to the wire. Can McDavid even grow a beard that looks like that? I always imagined for McDavid, for his facial hair, you would just put patchy. <laughs> Ginger and patchy. Nurse, lose it. Oh, no, he got it back, and he just whipped it top shelf. Damn it. And just like that, we're down by two yet again here late in the damn game. Less than seven to go. Otter, where are you, man? He was like, he was out deep. He was being aggressive. Taking away angles, and McDavid here in the first round in five games has nine points. 
All right, folks, we're down and out, but we can get it back. We can get it back. Oh, man, Haskinen gets knocked off that thing by McDavid, and he's got wheels. Oh, does he ever have wheels? Gets it over to Nuge with the shot. Nice stop. And Otter doesn't know where the puck is. It does end up out in front. Haskinen gets that one up to Rope Hints, and here we go. Off to the races. Jason Robertson. Robertson stopping up. He's going to whip that one around the net. We got it back. Got it back. Uh, let's go back to the point. Miro. Oh, goes for the pass, and he can't do it. And then two Dallas Stars players collide, and Nuge is just walking down the damn ice, walking down Main Street, doing his thing. Oh, yeah, we're open. Let's go. Oh, do we have a breakaway? Let's go for the backhander. Whoop, boom. Oh, fourth goal of the playoffs. Pew. And just like that, we are back within one yet again. Oh, man, we got five and a half minutes to get one goal. Look at that. Passes it to me. Nurse caught flat-footed. I barely outran him. And wabam, backhander in the net. Oh, yes, my friends. Oh, tied for first in the National Hockey League with four goals in five games to start the playoffs. And then... After the playoffs are done, I'm hoping we can be 71-72 overall, have the entire offseason to do all of our training. We'll re-sign. We are going to be signing with an original six team once we are done. Now, I know everybody's going to be like, oh, I hope it's Toronto. Oh, I hope it's Montreal. It's like, you know what? To be 100% honest, we've done Boston. We've done Montreal. We've done some of those, you know. Um, have we done any other original six teams? Have we ever? No, we did uh, NHL 22. I want to say we did um, we did Detroit. I think the only original six team that we've never played for, like obviously we've done Chicago. DMAC currently plays for Chicago on the NHL 23 Be a Pro. Uh, I believe. Oh my! Get out of the way, Rope. I I got love hate with you right now. Uh, the only one I believe we've never done is the New York Rangers. So, and I love the Rangers. It was my uncle's favorite team. He passed away, and it kind of made me start rooting for him. And they're a lot of fun to watch. And here comes Rope Hints with a huge chance. Big save. We almost stole that from McDavid. We're in the final minute of this game. And uh, things are getting exciting. 30 seconds. We got to go. We got like one more chance. Toss it. Oh, and he sauced it, but Nuge picked it off. Damn it. Here comes Connie McJesus. Can't get the shot through Tom Holly. Gets it up to Joe Pavelski. Jumping Joe. Where's he going to go with this thing? He's going to try and get it to me, but McDavid's between me and the puck. That is never a good recipe for anything. So here we go. Nuge down to McDavid. Big save. Nuge with the rebound, and Otter is going to stop that one. We got to go. We got five seconds left. Go, Joe. Go. Take the shot. Now, you idiot. Ah, damn it. Oh. Oh, it's bittersweet. You know, in... in Almost every regard, I'm upset. We've been knocked out of the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs in our rookie season, but at the same time, new beginnings. We can grow during the off season, make ourselves way, way better, and go to an original six team. I'm really hoping it's the Rangers. That's my bias. <laughs> anyway, it's been a slice, folks. Let's go to the menu. All right, so here we go. Back at the menu, we're going to do a little stats update real quick. Show the playoff stats for D to the measle. Six points in five games. Was a minus two, which isn't fantastic. Four goals, two assists, six points. 18 minutes a game, but look at that. Speed, 77. Accelerometer, 74. Durability, 77. The physical play is starting to get better. Spinarectomy. Not overly fantastic, but DMAC is a 30 goal scorer, so it is going to be interesting to see what kind of uh, it will be interesting to see what what kind of contract DMAC's offered. I mean, I'll be in the 70s overall. We're gonna go entire league. I know this, but we're gonna go for rookie skaters. Connor Bedard with 90 points. <laughs> Holy crap! He's 88 overall. Oh, that is absurdity. D to the measles second. In Calder, or second in the Calder race. 75 penalty minutes, a lot of fighting in there. But Connor Bedard easily going to take the cake on this one. You know what I mean? So, uh, let's see. Abilities. One new slot unlocked, so we'll see what's going down there. I got the Spinorama uh, X Factor, which is basically useless. Uh, so, you think, I think I'm going to unequip it from the zone abilities. And I think I'm going to put it in superstar abilities. Yeah. So that way when we get a real X Factor, <laughs> the, uh, 
then I can put that in that slot. We got one trait point to spend. I think I'm going to wait until I start to grow. But as of right now, uh, just to get through the playoffs and whatnot, we're going to start doing every given Sunday. We got to get our, the first thing I want to, I really want to focus on in our first season doing the training is speed, acceleration. We got to get that stuff up. All right, what do you want? What are we saying? There's going to be a lot of this. The comeback attempt was unsuccessful. Was climbing out of a three to one hole too much to overcome? Our opponents deserve some credit too. They outplayed us this round. Looks like the better team came out of this matchup. See ya. It's Mark Spector at it again. Doing the comp assaults. Being a dingus. All right, so here we are at the Sunday. We will go to training where we have 24 hours. Okay, I have not trained for a couple of years now. <laughs> Lateral movement, uh, passing, power skating. There's the one we want. One, two, three, four, uh, five. And then we'll put the rest in sprints. Try to get that durability. Try to get, well, the endurance isn't an issue. The endurance goes up really quickly. It's the durability. So we will hit start training and we are going to start getting that speed up very, very, it's probably going to start grow. It's going to grow really quickly at first. We also have over $880,000 um, that we could, I think it's about 880, something like that. 23 hours available. Uh, yeah. So we can also start purchasing things that will give us like trait points and crap like that. So yeah, see, look at this speed and accelerometer is already going up. The uh, durability is about to hit 78. I could also put uh, a trait point or two in durability because they don't really cost anything. And also, we're going to follow along the playoffs. The Oilers and the Preds in the second round. The second round is officially over. Okay, we grew. We grew. But the Oilers and the Avs in the conference finals again. That is fantastic. Only 19 hours of training in this week. Uh, yet again, we are going to dive down to power skating. And look at that. We're almost halfway to uh, getting certain things up again. That's fantabliocious. It's the thing I told everybody, too. I'm like, ah, the training, it takes too long. It's like, yeah, but I got a new gen console, so everything's much faster. So let's see what happens in round three. Three nothing Avs. So last time the Avalanche and the Oilers met up in the Stanley Cup playoffs, in the third round, the Avs swept them. So this is pretty true to life at the moment. Okay, we'll go to power skating. Let's do it. Uh, we got two hours left. The The speed is about to hit 79. I don't need face-offs. I don't know if I've taken a damn <laughs> face-off in my entire career so far. Oh, yeah, one or two more training sessions, and the durability is going to grow, too. We are going to be a... Because that's the thing, right? Uh, in your rookie season, I think it's pretty much impossible to get injured. So who do we got? Stanley Cup final, Avalanche, Lightning, God, that would be an electric Stanley Cup final. That would be a fantastic Stanley Cup final. Are we going to put her all in power skating this time? Or we just do five? I think we could. Yep, 76 accelerometer. We're almost at, uh, we're almost ab well, about to get our speed higher. And we are getting close to the draft. As soon as we get to the NHL entry draft, which is what, three weeks away, uh, I'm going to save, overwrite save file. So if I don't get um, an original 16, we'll just shut the game down, reload it, and we'll try again. And for anybody wondering, that's basically how it's done. Power skating! How many do we want to do? Do we want to do five? Do we want to do six? Yeah! That's a lot of speed. They'd be like, that is what we are focusing on the entire offseason as we sign a contract with an original six franchise, which is going to be very fun, very exciting. Oh, man. We only got one more week of training, and then we are going to be... So okay, here we go. Stanley Cup champions, Colorado Avalanche, Calder Cup champions, the Abbotsford Canucks. So the playoffs are now complete. I'm assuming we are probably doing the awards, right? End of rookie season. What do we got? First goal, October 12th against the Blues. 30 goals in his rookie year. 40 points. No awards. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we'll do one more week's worth of training. Then, like I said, we're going to... Oh, 27. I like it. I like it a whole awful lot. We'll probably put 24 in power skating. Uh, but then as the off-season goes along, after we sign a contract, I am not going to film it. I just wanted to film, like, this part of it. You know what I mean? So here we go, man. Calendar. Simulate ahead one more week. And then we are going to save. And then we're going to skip ahead. So, Stimley 8. 
Uh, what do we got? Anaheim wins the draft lottery. Wouldn't they love that? The New York Rangers, fifth overall pick. Montreal with the ninth. Chicago with the 11th. Detroit with the 14th. We got four out of six original six franchises in the draft lottery. That is wild wildness. I don't mind that one bit. So here we go. Let's save it up. And then we're going to simulate ahead and see who, uh, who offers us a contract after I set our training for the week. So again, we will do the power skating. Boom, 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 boom. Do we want to do one more? Yeah, we do. Sure. Hey, and our durability goes up as well. But the second we take a hit, it's going to drop right back down to 77. Okay, let's get to it. Here we go. Back to the calendar. I'll go to July 5th, 6th. We'll go to the 6th. I don't remember if it's the first day of free agency or if it's a couple days later. Oh, it's the first day. So the Dallas Stars offered us a one-year deal. The Buffalo Sabres offered us a two-year deal. Uh, the San Jose Sharks with a three-year deal. And the Florida Panthers with a two-year deal. I would love to go to the Florida Panthers, but sadly, none of these are original six. We're going to shut the game off, and we're going to try again. Oh, all right. Let's fire this pig back up. Here we go. Quail my car. Assistant captain for the Colorado Avalanche. Pretty good... Uh, Pretty decent cover boy. It'll be interesting to see what the Avs do in the playoffs this year. IRL. So we're connecting. Let's do it. Okay. Cleaning the ice. I get it. Whatever. I don't care. Flash sale. No, thank you. I will give you zero of my dollars for the rest of the year until October. Then I will give you a lot of my dollars. But I solemnly swear I am going to start posting videos like day one, not month three. Or mo no, it was month two. All right. Well, whatever. We'll just go to the fifth anyway, just just for in case. All right, here we go. Who's offering us? The Dallas Stars with a two-year deal. The Anaheim Ducks with a one-year deal. The New York Rangers, baby. One year, 775. And the Seattle Kraken. We've already played for the Kraken. You know what time it is, baby. I swear to God, the one original six franchise we have never played for, the New York Rangers exactly what I wanted to have, and I'm so jacked right now. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. We are officially New York Rangers. <laughs> oh, my. So what we're going to do, uh, let's go to view lines. Who do we got on this team currently? There'll be a lot of vacancies. Yeah, we got Chris Kreider, Mika Zabanajad as a number one center, Artemi Panarin and Philip Heedle. We got Alexi Lafreniere and Vinny Trocek with Jimmy VC and Barclay Goudreau, baby. Great depth piece. We got my dude, Adam Fox. We got Jacob Truba and Keandre Miller. And in that, you know who it is. It's Shesty, baby. Shesty, my guy. Oh, this is going to be fun. We got Ben Harper, Zach Jones, Alex Belzeal, uh, Jake Lachishan, uh, Anton Bleed, Riley Trash, <laughs> Will Cooley. Brennan Ottman, what's his name? Dylan Garand, D to the Measle, and Tanner Howe. How? Because we gotta. I'm never, ever doing that again. That was terrible. I'm, I apologize profusely. Anyway, so I'm going to do a crap load of off-season training. We're going to get to the second regular season, and in the next episode, that's where we'll start for the New York freaking Rangers. Oh, I'm so excited. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> It sucks that we were taken out in the first round, but this is a pretty good consolation prize. I got to tell you, baby. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.